good interweb? I'm your man Q back again with some of that geek breaking news. And as we all know and heard, where there's smoke, there's fire. And usually where there's pipes, there's Mario? Nintendo Switch has finally got a smaller version. Enter the Nintendo Switch Lite. The first and foremost thing that we have to know about the Nintendo Switch Lite is that it's going to be $100 cheaper than our standard and traditional Nintendo Switch. So at that cost, you know they gotta take something out. Nintendo Switch Lite is going to be a 5.5 inch touchscreen. Will not have detachable Joy-Cons or even have features where you're able to play in tabletop mode. It will, however, have D-pad style control pads as well as an improved three to seven hour battery life, which is good because, well, this is basically taking over for the 3DS, which, I'm not mad at because the reason why I didn't like the Nintendo 3DS's and DS's and all of that is because, you know what, the games were different. I wanted Golden Sun, the console, so I could see it on my TV. There isn't any IR or HD rumble functions and it doesn't look like it's going to support VR whenever Nintendo decides to do that or has support for the Nintendo Labo. You will not be able to dock it either. This is a perfect system for, well, a house full of kids, or if you just want something smaller, not too big, much bigger than your phone, you can slip it easily in your back pocket and game on the go. The Nintendo Switch Lite comes in three different colors, well, actually four. Yellow, turquoise, black, which is gonna be available on September 20th. It's just so perfect, isn't it? Just so perfect, right? Right around not only the holiday season, but when they drop Pokemon Sword and Shield. And speaking of Pokemon Sword and Shield, they're also having an exclusive gray Nintendo Switch Lite, which is going to have the Pokemon from Sword and Shield, the legendaries, Zaisen and Zimizintu on the back of the Nintendo Switch Lite. A lot of people are still upset and on the fence about this because they want a Nintendo Switch Pro. Well, I understand why Nintendo did this because they want to sell more units and they want more people to have them in their household and the best way to do it is cut a hundred dollars off. That money that they're making from this one, which is the technology is cheaper to do now, will in turn go towards whenever they decide to do a pro. But as always in the web, I'm your man Q and this has been your geek breaking news. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things games and all things geek. And until next time, remember to eat, geek, sleep, repeat. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. And if you're still thirsty, here's another video for you right here. And right here, water's wet.